So this is a set for a piece of test content we're shooting. It looks a lot like a normal set, light set dressing, but the difference here is we are filming content that's intended to be edited by a machine learning program or an AI. Just checking Twitter. <laughs> so we are right at the beginning of the day. It is quarter to nine. Um, I think we're starting shooting at half nine. Um, and we are going to do the quiz section first of all. Steal with the bows. So dear. Incorrect. <laughs> AI is going to be hugely transformative for the media industry as a whole. It's the next stage of automation and we think it's going to be transformative for TV production in particular. So what we're doing here is we are doing a professional TV production with a professional script, actors and crew, but we're doing it with the full onset input from our research teams so that we make sure we capture the material with the exact characteristics that we need. We are about to film the first scene of the day. Actors are on set, crew are ready. It's exciting. Quiet on set, please. Recording is live. Stand by to applaud, and Tommy, you're on camera three. In five, four, three. Action. Welcome to Old School. Game show where we, test we already have developed in-house algorithms that can do the most straightforward of automatic edits. But in order to edit anything more complex or that's trying to tell a story, set a scene, you need a greater understanding of actually what's going on. And those programs don't exist yet. That research is still happening. And one thing that would assist that research is good quality test material, training data, that simply doesn't exist yet, so we're hoping to create that. Instead of having camera operators operating all the cameras to get the different shots, what we do is we put in place a bunch of static cameras that are shooting at very, very high resolution. They're shooting at 8K, and they're all set to wide angles. So within each camera's shot, there are smaller individual shots that a camera operator would normally get on set. And the idea is that we use some AI to then try and pick those shots out and automatically edit together a piece of content. Just wrapped part two of the script and this next section is intended to be more challenging for the AI because the actors will be moving around, they'll be talking over each other and they'll be crossing the line of the camera. So as a filmmaker, this has been a really interesting project for me because we are teaching computers to help us with our work. It's always easy to ask the question of, well, what if it replaces the people? But machine learning algorithms could help us, for example, make a first pass edit or go through footage and say, this all looks good, this does not look good. At the moment, you really can't replace having a skilled crew create this stuff with intent, but you can hopefully in the future make their lives easier. Missed. Don't touch this. Can I ring your bell? No. Yeah, well done, Kat. Oh my god, well done! <laughs> That's a wrap. That went really well. Um, that was the last scene of the day. It was beautiful. Passed it everywhere. We have existing partners from academic institutions around the world who are interested in this footage and have plans for things to do with it. We believe that by getting computers to start to understand those aspects of the craft of cinematography, we can produce systems which are the best combination of technological automation and human creativity. So having access to this kind of raw, unedited material could be a huge step forward. <laughs>